know, there's an art behind it, you know? And you always want to imitate whatever created the perfect look that you have may have seen yourself with. So yeah, it's, it's stressful, man. It's like one day you're feeling good about yourself, the next day you're like, fuck, I don't know. And that, 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 that's something we all relate to. I'm confident, uh, you know, I haven't met everybody and I haven't talked to everybody, but I'm pretty confident that by uh, one moment or another, you know, everybody's like, has a good, good feeling behind themselves. And then sometimes, shit, I don't know, I may be slipping. It's kind of a, it's, it's a mind fuck like that, you know? Is this your first Olympia or have you done other Olympias? This is my first Olympia. Um, last year, I attended the Olympia working in a dark sport booth. Um, everybody on the team at the time was competing except for myself. Uh, I had told myself I would never let that happen again. I would never be a spectator. So uh, this year, my ultimate goal is to step on that stage and I did just that. When you get there on the stage, what's going to be the first thing that's going through your head? Just making sure I shock people. That's it. Um, I want to go out there and just blow everybody away. Uh, I want to leave a lasting impression. I want to be undeniable. I don't want anybody to be up there second guessing why I didn't place as well as I did or why I'm not the champion at the end of the day. So if he wants to square up, beautiful, let's square up. If he wants to hit that twist, throw a little bit of that twist in, boom, and we'll hit that post. My name is Ryan Benson. I'm the owner of uh, Team Zero Gravity. Uh, we're here at Zero Gravity Fitness Headquarters here in Pomona. Uh, and I'm here with uh, a couple of my Olympians getting ready uh, for the, the Olympia this week. We're about four days out. Not really any guesswork at this point. I really pretty much know what these guys need individually to get them perfect for the day of the stage. So from here, it's just following the game plan, executing what we designed from the beginning. Hopefully not too many changes and just a little bit of tweaking at the end to make sure it comes in perfect. Uh, my emotional state going into peak week is, you know, this is something that I chose and it's something that I'm, I'm willing to die for. You know, I, this is something that I want to do is compete and this is all that I care about is bodybuilding. This is what I do. I do this day in, day night. I cook my meals. I follow my coach's orders. I feel you could get that right pop on stage, the right fullness, the right conditioning, and everything will come together the way you want. Just describe uh, Team Dark's work. It's just a raw image. You know, this is just something that not everybody has that look. Not everybody just has that swagger, you know what I mean? They just don't have the, the emphasis inside of them to portray that image. To me, it represents the grind, the hustle, um, just, you know, putting in the work. They're just raw, just raw talent, raw training. Everything is just on point. I'm excited, we'll see how it goes today. We're gonna kill it. one of the sickest booths here. The best athletes in the fucking game right now. The top pros. We're gonna make a statement on this stage this year. Stay tuned. Everyone here is giving it everything. Like, no, we don't give up. Like, that's not that's not in the agenda at all. Like, that's that just can't happen. Like, we're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep fighting, and then we're gonna fight some more.
come out with a bang, get that first place win. It's a family, man. Yeah, straight up. That's Olympia 2016, Team Dark Sport, and that is a wrap. That's Olympia 2016, that's a wrap. I am the